So welcome back to the quiz app series using V3. So in this video, we are going to create an end of quiz or end of question overlay. So yeah, I'm going to do that and I'm going to do it in a component and have that component ported into this place. So um, let me just create a file. You know what? I'll create a folder in views. I'll call it components and in there I'll create a file. Let's call it quiz complete overlay dot view. Okay, so in here I'll just add uh, just the normal boilerplate. So I have my template. I could add main for now. You know what? No, let's just make a div. So we have a parent div here. So let me write uh, quiz overlay just like so. There's nothing much here. So let's go back to our home and I want to import that file as a component so let me just leave a comment where i'm going to place that so let's say quiz over there and i'll head all the way down to where my script is and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to import import it's called quiz com complete overlay from some importing that from components components slash okay we already have that there now i imported this but i've not used it anywhere so let's go to where we left that comment just at the top and i'll say quiz complete overlay I'll save. Okay, we have an error. What does it say? It's defined but never used. Maybe I didn't spell something correctly. So let's check. I'll copy this. Okay, now what I missed is that I didn't define this in components. So let's see. Let's minimize my setup. Go here. I'll say compo components like so and i'll paste that here so we imported that we declared it as a component and we used it at the top here so if i save that solves that issue but although we have it here is not properly placed how i want it so we're going to start styling that but anyways um Later on, we are going to kind of change the way we imported it. But for now, since we're just designing, I'm just going to leave it this way and just head over to my quiz complete overlay the view file. And then I'll play around with this. And one of the things that just comes to mind immediately is that I need to position this in such a way that it doesn't move the quiz. Uh, the quiz design already have. So it's like going to be more like an overlay at the top. So let us let's get let's do that very quickly. So add a class, and uh, I just want to make it as wide as the screen. Now this is uh, all these are tailwind uh, classes. So I'm going to give it an absolute position, and uh, just give it a very high Z index. Uh, let's save. You know what? I'm going to give it a background just so that I can see it for now. Okay, so that kind of covers everywhere. Let's see if I can add opacity. Okay, so we kind of like see through the. I kind of like seeing through the overlay. So let me have a div in here. Uh, this div is going to be, I want it to be at the center. Okay, so how I can do that is uh, for the overall div, I'm going to add the property of flex and I'll say place content center. I'll just put on my text wrap. 
so flex place content center that should align anything we have at the center you know what so i'm going to just put uh let's say content here just so we see what we've done okay this opacity is also affecting the content so it should be it should be bg opacity so that it only affects the opacity of the background and not everything that is inside that div so i can see the content is a little bit darker now okay let me see so our content here and put a and put another div inside this div okay please content center hmm. Okay, let me just do this the traditional way, not traditional way, another way actually. So let me say justify, justify center, and then I'll say items uh, center. That's much better, that actually works. Okay, so we have our content at the center now okay so let us uh so to create uh just a small div there so let me add a class here um, say bg green 700 like so let me make sure i put content here so i can still see what i'm doing so BG green and let's just put some padding. Let's see, okay, we just have it there. That's fine. Okay, so let me make this a P tag. Now what? Make it a P tag. Let the P tag have some bold fonts and text white. And then let's increase the size a bit and then just say all done all done like so okay and then we just need something that let's see the score so it just be a p tag a class let me add some margin in the y-axis uh font bold again make like a bold let's make the text a little bit bigger and uh, let's say 100 percent okay now what i want to do straight up is to align the text the center so i'll say text center put that in the parent div and I also want all the colors of the text to be white so I can take this text white and put it in parent div so that the children div just inherit their property so I don't have to type it all over and all over again and uh, then what I'll have next is let me just create a div that will have two buttons a done button and a retry Okay, so let's just create. I just create a div around it. Mm, I just give a little bit of py with that's a 28, and this is done. Okay, so I'll give it a border. So we can see it rounded. Let me go rounded full. Okay, that looks better. And then I add um, a circus of pointer so that we can get that pointer feeling. So I'll just copy that. Still inside my folder that has the flex. In fact, I'm going to add a comment so that it's not confusing. Buttons. And uh, yeah. So this one will be called retry okay that's fine so for this flex container i would say justify uh, let's say yeah justify around is fine so that we can we should be able to have some spaces 
let me make this uh, parent a little bit bigger so I could say mm, no I think it's fine anyways so what I'll do is add like a hover to this button so let's say hover uh, let's change the text to black and then hover we'll change the bg mm, let's say bg white so if I save let's see how that looks like okay and that's fine so I just copy that class and paste it in the other one okay we have that so we just have something that says all done okay and click on retry all done so because of the way we positioned it you can see we can't click on any of the questions or we can ever interact with the quiz which is fine so this is more like an overlay if you prefer a dark overlay then you change this bg black bg white to bg black that will give like a dark overlay i think this is better uh, let's play around the opacity not too much plus 60. okay so this is kind of better so you can either click done or retry so they see the score uh, some like all oh, done or something okay so let us go back to our home now of course we don't want this to just be showing up because it's just showing up just like that for now i'm going to add uh, a boolean which is going to be false so if it's false that means we're not at the end of our quiz and then when it gets to when it turns to true and when it gets to the end of the quiz we change that boolean to true and then we display this so let's just add something that says end of quiz right and uh, let's make it a ref of false I need to pull let end of quiz and then I go all the way up okay because I need it I need to return it let's say end of quiz then return here and then where I have that my component in my home the view file that's where I am so I go to that place I put view if and then I add end of quiz so we need a way to be able to turn this to true and if you remember in the previous video we have a place that actually says out of questions which is here it says no more questions so in this place I would say end of quiz the value is true so we're getting to the end of the quiz so let's just save say java fill that one i fill this one too then you save end of quiz like so yeah don't mind that the time is running we're going to fix all of that so that says end of quiz so the next video we're going to fetch our questions from the api from the network then we can use that questions in our quiz rather than having this hard coded so see you in the next video